Is the FNAF movie based on the Silver Eyes? The main protagonist has a missing brother who William Afton kidnapped and killed and is brought to Freddy's by William Afton, who is pretending to be someone else. During a distraction, one of the characters is taken in order to springlock them. Eventually, William is springlocked himself and he is dragged into a back room by the animatronics to die. So is the movie based on the books? It isn't necessarily a movie adaptation of the Silver Eyes, but it seems to have used the book as a foundation. Overall, the story is original. It's much more than just a copy of the Silver Eyes. There are fans who would have rather seen a movie more loyal to the game's lore rather than the extended universes. But in all fairness, a lot of what we know from the game's lore was eluded from the books. The games were made for entertainment with only a secondary agenda of telling an interesting story. The books were made to tell a story. That's why it makes sense that the movie would be roughly based on the books. Scott knows that FNAF 1 is where most of the game's fans first became introduced to the franchise, and he would never want to dishonor fans by forgetting that. What he did was take the best parts of the games and the books and combine them to make a new continuity using the best of each. 